What's going on, folks? This is Mike Murda's Gamer Logic, and no, I am not the newest member of Daft Punk. Actually, this is the Oculus Rift DK2 headset, and uh, the reason I have one of these is because I am a part of a development project for an Oculus Rift game. I can't go into too many details, but uh, essentially, because it's an Oculus Rift project, I need a Oculus Rift DK2 to actually work on the project. So the company provided me with an Oculus Rift DK2, which is awesome. And uh, they pretty much told me that I need to get used to using this in terms of playing different projects, just to see what the full capabilities of the Oculus are, is, as well as sound design and everything else. So I've been slowly using it. I've been using it carefully because, man, it gives me motion sickness like a mother. So uh, I figured I'd try taking this for a test run and recording it, essentially, and then throwing it up on the channel here. So we're going to see how this works. Uh, this is Elite Dangerous you're looking at, and right now I'm not looking at anything because in order to avoid motion sickness, I have my eyes closed. So i just open my eyes here, and uh, we are currently in the game. So what Elite Dangerous is, it's a space sim. So if you've ever played any of the X-Wing or the TIE Fighter games, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, if you've never played one of those before, uh, the best way to explain it is it's like uh, anything. It's like a dogfight simulator. If you've seen Star Wars and you've seen the X-Wings and the TIE Fighters battle, or if you've seen Star Trek or anything like that, then that's essentially what this game is. Right now, I am in the middle of an asteroid field. Wow, that rock over there on the right looks like it's got a face. It's kind of crazy. Uh, so I can actually, you know, move in and look around my ship here. I can look at the monitors and they'll activate. Now my shields are sitting at 100%, which is awesome. Well, you know what? Let's uh, move up power to weapons here. There's a planet nearby, a couple contacts. I've got my, uh, this is kind of my navigation computer here. You take a look on the left and actually, you know, bring up the galaxy map where I can go to missions, contacts. Right now there's a sidewinder out there, which I think that's my ship. But right now, we're sitting in the middle of an asteroid field. I've only done the tutorial missions on this. I started a single-player game up and really wasn't sure what to do. Maybe there's just not much to do because this is actually still in beta. So uh, why don't I attempt to get out of this and uh, just play it, really. So let me see if I can find my keyboard here. Uh, there we go. Where's my mouse? The joy of having four displays going at once is very, very apparent. Okay, we'll just use the keyboard. So let's just quit to main menu. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. And let's go to tutorials, and we'll just do a, uh, a docking test here. Now, one thing I will say is I've been playing around with the different settings, and people suggested to make sure you turn the uh, frequency of the monitor for the DK2 to 75 hertz. I actually think it looks worse like that, so I don't know if that's the case or not. I may have to switch back, but for some reason, I remember the graphics looking better than it has when I put the DK2 on initially, so I may put it back to 60 hertz later. Um, you may be kind of looking at the same thing, but they said that in order to achieve the most realistic and smooth view so you don't get sick you actually uh, lower down the resolution of the game the graphics detail to about medium just to make sure that you have a uh, up to I think it's like 74 frames a second make sure that's consistent so you turn v-sync on and everything to make that happen that way uh, the game doesn't stutter and you don't end up wanting to puke alright so let's get a move on here let's uh, let's launch Big space station, space station, that's for sure. Let's see how long I can play this before I feel like puking, huh? It's my exit right up there. It's slanted. They put me in a weird spot to launch. That's alright. 
Just waiting for uh Ship released. Engines engaged. Alright. Okay. We'll set up there, shall we? And they put me right at the edge. Oh, I'll just flip her a little bit here. So, pretty much what they're showing you to do here is just how to on dock and land for the tutorial mission. This I can pretty much do without too much of an issue, but just kind of observe deep space out here. You know, you look behind me and there's the space station. There's some kind of advertising there. There's a planet. Is that Earth? I really don't know. Uh, but let's continue with our tutorial mission here. That's where we just came out of. See, stuff like that makes me a little queasy. So, uh, We need to get in touch with the station here and let them know that we have the intent to land so we can finish this tutorial. Requesting docking. Request granted. Thank you. On the headphones, it sounds incredible, especially when you're actually going through that dock itself to land. It just sounds great. And it really helps with the overall experience, too. I actually think it helps with the uh, the sickness in general, because your body thinks it's more in the game than uh, in between two worlds, in a sense. I'm having a hard time seeing my dock here. Is that it? Must be. Whoa, 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 I'm not loitering, I swear to God. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time finding my landing zone here. Just scan around the station. See what the deal is. Normally it's highlighted. I don't know why it's not highlighted, that I'm just not seeing it. Ah. That's my dock. Okay. Anyone who's played Elite is probably laughing their ass off at me right now. And normally I have my thruster set on some different buttons here, but uh, they're not working for whatever reason. Oops! Hitting shit, that's not good. Got my landing gear on. Yep. This was the landing pad. What the hell? Responsibly. 
There we go. Oops. Wait, what just happened? I don't know what just happened there, to be completely honest with you folks. My monitor just flashed. Probably hit the mouse or something. Uh, where the fuck are we? Okay, I'm not touching anything. I don't know what the hell's going on, to be honest with you. I don't know why that's working, so... <laughs> not working, so we're just gonna... Get out of that for a second. And my escape button isn't working. Which is weird. So maybe something else is going on, because I can't even hit escape at the moment. To make this work. So there's another way we can end this. Weird. I don't know what the uh, the issue was there. Huh. Well, we'll leave things at that because I'm getting a little motion sick, uh, but I'll do another one of these videos too. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a general idea of what's going on, and uh, once I get everything fine-tuned and figured it, uh, figure everything out, uh, I'll definitely be doing more of these, hopefully. So, any questions, go ahead and post them so I can try them out for you, and we'll go from there. Thanks.